Greetings and salutations everybody and welcome back to Stardew Valley Road to Perfection here on Jolly Oaks Farm. It is day 24 of fall and let's go ahead and hop into things. It's going to be a clear and sunny day all day tomorrow. Bloomer describing eye, spirits are good humor, a little extra luck. And rerun omelette. Alright. Looks like everything is kind of progressing now. Yep, I imagined a lot of that was going to be fading away. And it looks like we have some of our first pine tar ready. Oop. Something's in the way here. What we got here? Let's see. That's the one thing I'm finding out is that there is little bits back here that are missing. So, okay. We have all that pine tar so we can go ahead and throw that in a chest over here. I should probably put a chest over there for all of that as well. Just to make it a little bit more organized, but it does keep adding chests around the farm, which can be kind of gross looking. So, let's go ahead and get our chores out of the way as we normally do i went ahead and took these quality sprinklers out to fill up the rest of the greenhouse so we might as well get that done as well our farm is finally cleared out and now i think it is best to go ahead and sell a few of the things we had in our cave and some things we picked up around the farm and maybe at this point it might be best to that grab any and all gems that we have and let's grab anything else we might have up here that might need to be donated to the museum all right go ahead and do that and then let us also go grab it's wednesday I believe robin should be up her house we should be getting another harvest of the oak resin or a harvest of oak resin from our tree farm coming in the next few days. Farm buildings. It's the shed. And let's see where we can place this on the farm. That would make the most sense to us. Imagine it's going to be somewhere over here. Block. Grandpa Shrine. We might have to put it at the bottom here. Um, let's for the time being just toss it right here. And we might go clear some of that stuff out. One of the biggest things I want to work on in the winter is getting our... It's got a prehistoric tool. Um, I want to get, get working on setting up our farm for the best layouts that we can craft now. Um, just so we can be decently, decently well managed going into the second year. I town place. Um, all right. Okay, let's stop. Look at here and I don't think I'm gonna have time to do the geodes like I did to, I wanted to um let's do that Ruby then we can do all of these down here I believe that is all I've got We've got some stuff here. Start for seeds. Night on the hill. We'll start taking some of these. Ancient seeds recipe. Ancient seeds themselves. We'll take those. And then standing geode. Okay. And then I believe Clint is done at four. That is correct. 
Let's head back to the bus stop. Let's get some stuff out of the inventory real quick. Let's do the decorations first, just so I know what I want to sell and what I don't. Um, let's start with the bedroom. We can just set this stuff in here. Put that beautiful painting up as well as, I don't know, might be too big for back here. Put that over. Actually. Oh no, go to bed. We don't need to go to bed yet. We can actually put this right next to the fireplace and we can toss that next to the bed. Um, what else do we have here? The standing geode. It's a cool art piece. We can just toss that there. Do we have anything else we needed to get rid of? We do not. Now, I did want to also look at what the <clears throat> recipe, excuse me, was for the ancient seeds, which I just want ancient seed. Okay, so we can technically do that. Okay. Um, we'll have to look into this. But let me go ahead and I'm going to toss this away right now because... OCD is not going to permit me to throw star seed or star fruit seeds in with already. Could these still grow? Um, yeah. So let's go ahead and grab a couple items and see what we can get done. All right. We've got the soil the rest of the way tilled and all the sprinklers placed here in our greenhouse. And I went ahead and planted this ancient fruit seed. Now, if I remember right, this ancient fruit seed does take a full season to grow. I believe it is 28 days, which is crazy. Absolutely crazy. So this is not going to be our money maker for quite some time. But we do want to start it growing in the greenhouse. Because eventually, us turning this whole entire greenhouse into ancient fruit I believe is the is the way to go with money making. I'm going to have to do some research on that later. And to help that along, I did also make seed makers. <clears throat> so I can also continue making starfruit and blueberries. Now those are going to continue growing. I don't think there's much else to do here on the farm today. There is a bunch left down here to clear, and I think that might be the go for tomorrow. So I think the, the plan is to head to bed for tonight. We'll wake up in the morning, do our chores, go to see Clint and get our geodes cracked, donate everything to the museum we can, and uh, clear the rest of the farm out. All right, so another day means another day of work ahead of us. Let's go ahead and get these watered like we did say. And it's funny, even though we keep doing the chores every day, we keep getting all the eggs from the chickens, we keep getting all the milk from the cows, the goats have still not given us a large milk just yet. That is just mind boggling to me. I've gotten another round of wool from the sheep, but still haven't gotten a, still haven't gotten a large goat milk. Oh, these goats are just not my friends. So maybe, maybe it's just me, but maybe that was absolutely karma for saying that before. I just got my first large goat milk. And it was all because of this guy right here. Thanks, Britsu. Let's go see about getting these geodes all cracked open. Forty different items. We are on our way. 
and we still have all of our frozen geodes still to go but i think real quick i'm going to make a trip back to the house and sell all the things that we do not need just to clear out some inventory space i would be wrong in saying i wasn't happy with how the magma geodes worked out especially getting some iridium ore but it's time to move on to the frozen geodes and we've got quite a lot of them we made out really good on coal there was one geode that broke open and gave us 20 coal, which is really nice. Let's run down and see if we can find Marnie to give her this bunch of amaranth. Marnie, here you go. Oh, the amaranth I asked for. Thank you so much. The cows are going to love this. You're welcome. I totally didn't have that sitting in a chest for almost a month. I feel like we got a lot cleared out. There's still some in the bottom left, but over by the barn, I was able to get quite a lot done. Let's go ahead and shuffle all this away. And... Oh, that. that in there. And let's head to bed. Another jade is done and in the chest. Let's hit the hay. Quite a lot of gold just from selling miscellaneous different artifacts that we found from those geodes. That's basically free money. That was just sitting in a chest. Cows to light. 500 gold there as well. Right. Check the TV. Weather report. Clear and sunny day tomorrow. Perfect weather for the Spirits Eve. The event will take place in Pelican Town starting between 10 p.m. and 11.50 p.m. Don't be late. And then a fortune teller. They're somewhat annoyed and luck will not be on our side. Perfect. Fantastic. <clears throat> Good morning, dear. It was a lovely walk out here. I haven't seen this old farm in a long time. It looks even better than I remember. Here, I brought you a little bit of something. It's a gift from one gardener to another. Oh, a basket. Or a garden pot. <laughs> basket. These pots are really handy. You can use them to grow crops of out of crops of any season indoors. They also look nice outside, but out here they can only house in season crops. Makes sense. If you need more, they're really easy to make too. Here, I've got an old magazine clipping with instructions. Learned how to craft a garden pot. Well, I'd better go. George gets grumpy if he doesn't have his oatmeal on time. You have a great day, honey. Get some mail as well. Hey there, I had some extra wood lying around. I thought maybe you could use it. Take care. Thanks, Robin. More mail. Knows a chill in the air. It could just be the approach of winter. Or it could be the tingle of a dark specter here to help to celebrate tomorrow's festival, the Spirit's Eve. Come to town 10 p.m. if you'd like to participate. Mary Lewis. We have honey. Honey. And we have a ton. And I mean a literal ton. Of fall seeds. Wow. Those aren't done yet. Let's go ahead and get all of these fall seeds. All picked up. I'm excited to see if our forging level goes up after this. We've got plenty of space in the inventory. Let's get them all picked up. That is quite the haul, if I do say so myself. I'm going to wait till tomorrow to do anything with those just because I am unsure. I don't know if I need honey for the... Bolton board at all.
Does not appear so. Okay. I was worried about that. All right. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to do anything with those until tomorrow. Just because I am kind of nervous that I won't hit my foraging levels I'm wanting. Oh, I must be getting wool from the rabbits. Yeah, I'm just a little nervous I won't get that. So, I want to go ahead and keep on those in case I want to turn them back into the fall seeds and go from there. Well, let's go see what is left of the farm to clear and check on the progress of our shed. Our shed is built. Wow, that was quick. I didn't think it had already been two days. Okay, shed is done. That is good to hear. And oak redison is done, which is perfect timing. Grab all of these up here. And then let's run over and grab whatever oak resin we have in our chests as well. I've gone ahead and grabbed all the oak resin I have, which adds up to about 20 oak resin currently. Now, if we look at the recipe for making these kegs, it looks like I'm going to need 30 wood, one copper bar, one iron bar, and one oak resin per each keg. So that means I'm gonna need 600 wood, 20 copper bars, 20 iron bars, and 20 oak resin to make my 20 kegs that I currently can or should be able to make. Now, I believe we have the wood already. We absolutely have the wood. But I don't believe we have... Yes, we do not have the other. So, we are 8 off of the copper and about another 11 off of the iron. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to... We've got iron going currently. So we'll get the iron going. Then we'll get the copper going. And in the meantime, we will go ahead and work on clearing the rest of the farm. And after that, we will work on getting those kegs placed into our brand new shed. All the materials have finally been smelted up. And now we can head over to our brand new shed and get those crafted before it is time to slip off to bed. Up in here. And we will just fill Probably just put one more right there. <clears throat> that is 20 kegs currently made. That is going to do us just fine. Let's go ahead and head off to bed. We have accomplished quite a lot. We're finally getting somewhere. Level 9 Foraging, plus 1 Axe Proficiency, new crafting recipe is the Rain Totem, that's going to be helpful, and Cookout Kit. I don't think I've ever used that. Just a little bit of funds there from some cranberries. And we are in fall. Day 27, only two days left of fall, everyone. But I'm going to be calling it right here, leaving you guys on a little bit of a teaser for the rest of fall. Today is going to be the Spirit Eve Festival. In the next episode, we tackle that the last day of fall and prepping for winter to 
continue moving on the community center. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you guys. Don't forget to slap that like button and hit that subscribe button as well to keep coming back for more content. Hit the notification bell to be alerted whenever I post content as well. New series coming to the channel hopefully soon. And please leave a comment down below. Let me know who you guys want me to pursue as a marriage candidate in year two. I really value your, guy, your guys' opinions. Any tips, tricks, please put that as well. And I will see you all in the next episode. Peace.